Hello Newtonians! Creating engineering drawings is part of every mechanical design engineer's job. So far, we have discussed the theory behind CAD modeling and looked into how parts and assemblies are made in CAD software. Now, we will go a step further and look into CAD drawings and how they are created in CAD software. We still have upcoming videos on CAD theory to round everything up, and then we will dive directly into the videos on how to apply all this engineering drawing and CAD theory to real-life engineering problems. Hopefully, you are as excited about this as I am and stay tuned because many things are coming your way. On that note, if you would like to support this type of content and you would like to see more of it in the future, like, subscribe, and share. Now, let us go back to the video. We could create many types of engineering drawings as mechanical design engineers. The most common ones are part, detailed, drawing and assembly drawing. We already covered a lot of topics regarding engineering drawings in our previous videos, and I will share with you the links as we progress through the video. In Introduction to Engineering Drawings, we learn that we can observe engineering drawing as a unified language that engineers use to communicate independently of each other's spoken or written language. According to ISO 2984-5-2011, drawing is technical information, given on an information carrier, graphically presented in accordance with agreed rules and usually to scale. Before the invention of CAD, engineers used to create drawings with their hands using a pen and paper. As CAD developed, the drawing creation process became easier, faster, and more efficient. However, the rules mainly stayed the same, so it is still essential to learn rules for creating engineering drawings. As a mechanical design engineer, you will use engineering drawings to communicate your design intent with your own production, procurement, suppliers, etc., and it is crucial and precious for your career to understand the process of creating CAD drawings. Knowing the basics of engineering drawing creation and how to do that efficiently in CAD software will definitely help you in the long run. I know I said this in my previous videos, but I will repeat myself again and emphasize that CAD software is a tool that mechanical design engineers use to, based on mechanical engineering fundamentals, build real-life solutions. CAD is an extension arm of our knowledge of mechanical engineering principles, not the other way around. Keep in mind that software is only smart as the person using it. Basic Terminology Let us know to look into some of the basic terms that you will encounter when creating a drawing in CAD software. Part According to ISO 2984-5-2011, part model is a model in which the product described is one single item. We already covered this topic in depth. You can find the link in the description. Assembly According to ISO 2984-5-2011, an assembly model is a model in which the product described is an assembly of two or more items. We already covered this topic in depth. You can find the link in the description. Document Types a mechanical design engineer needs to create a range of different documents to ensure that the product fulfills customer requirements, that it is manufacturable, and that its quality is satisfactory. Often, we will use CAD software to either to create these documents or create images for these documents. If you are not already familiar with this topic, you can find the link in the description. Building Elements of Engineering Drawings In order to create an engineering drawing, we need to know what the building elements of an engineering drawing are. So, to become familiar with it, you can find the link in the description. Basic Elements of Engineering Drawings To create usable and standardized drawing templates in CAD software, we have to become familiar with the basic elements of engineering drawings. You can find the link in the description. Projection Methods on Engineering Drawings We have to represent our 3D model in 2D in the most efficient way to communicate our design intent. If you are not familiar with it, make sure to check projection methods on engineering drawings. You can find the link in the description. Section and detailed views on engineering drawings. In addition to the previous points, sometimes, we will not be able to clearly and unambiguously show our design intent using standard projections. For that reason, we will have to use sections and detailed views. You can find the link in the description. Exploded view. An exploded view is used on the assembly drawings. We are using them to show the relationships between different parts in the most realistic manner. You can find the link in the description. Parts list and BOM. Assembly is created from two or more components, and the parts list and BOM tell us which those parts are. BOM includes raw materials too. You can find the link in the description. Additional tables. 
additional tables are used to display additional information about the part or assembly. For example, the configuration table is on a tabular drawing. You can find the link in the description. Dimensions Dimensions on engineering drawings are necessary to define the size and shape of components or to define the relative position slash or shape of assembled parts. You can find the link in the description if you are not yet familiar with the dimensions of engineering drawing. Tolerances It is hard to manufacture the part to be the exact size we define on the drawings. For that reason, we define tolerances on the engineering drawing to give our manufacturer a range that he can deviate from the defined value. Tolerances are an important topic, so make sure that you are familiar with it. You can find the link in the description. Fits The relationship between different joining components in assembly is defined by fits. Fits can sometimes be confusing to young engineers, so if you are not sure about this topic, you can find the link in the description. Geometrical Product Specification Geometrical Product Specification, ASME Standard Name, Geometric Dimensioning and Tolerancing, GDNT is a complicated topic in engineering drawings. At this moment, this is not covered because I decided to focus more on the basic and intermediate complexity topics. However, this topic will be covered in the future. Part file types. Usually, each CAD software has its own file formats used to store relevant design and manufacturing data. Let us now look into some of the most known CAD software on the market and their file extensions used to store drawing data. CAD Drawing Templates Every engineering drawing you create will contain the building elements we mentioned before. Some of the things that will always be constant and necessary to have on every drawing are font type, line types, drawing border, and title block. Considering that these are constant occurrences on our drawings, we do not want to waste our time setting them up each time we want to create a new drawing. For this purpose, CAD software has this beautiful option called Drawing Templates. Drawing templates can be created for any paper size with any rules that we want to follow. We can create templates for ISO standard, ASME standard, and non-standardized internal use. Furthermore, we can create drawing templates for different manufacturing techniques. For example, we have drawing templates used for machine parts and ones used for injection molding or 3D printing. The possibilities are endless. The best part is that once we create drawing templates, we are just a click away from assigning them to our drawing. Furthermore, to make this even more powerful, we can create the part and assembly templates with different attributes that will automatically populate fields in our drawing temple. Not only that this is efficient and time-saving, but it is also helping you standardize the drawing creation process in the company. From your personal standpoint, when your drawings are unified as much as possible, this communicates your expertise to anyone using your drawings. Creating a good personal brand in the company is always beneficial for your career. Part CAD Drawings Once you understand what the engineering drawing should look like and the underlying theory behind it, it is easy to create a drawing using CAD software. CAD drawings are literally created by using the set of predefined commands that are doing 90% of the work for us. We, as mechanical design engineers, only need to know the rules on how to create engineering drawings. Before, when CAD was not available, we had to draw orthographic views, add sections, hatch everything, and add dimensions, tolerances, and everything else by hand. Now, all this is done almost automatically with CAD software. The knowledge required to create a good engineering drawing was not significantly changed, but the tools we used to create them made it much easier and more efficient than before. So, according to experts at ISO, they defined in ISO 2984-5-2011 that a part drawing depicts a single part that cannot be further disassembled and includes all the necessary information required to define the part. Basically, it means that every piece of information that we need to manufacture the part should be defined on the drawing. Assembly CAD Drawings The same thing I mentioned regarding creating part CAD drawings applies here. We still have the rules we must follow to create a good assembly drawing, but the tool we use is changing the game significantly. According to experts at ISO, they defined an F, an assembly drawing represents the relative position and or shape of a group of assembled parts. Basically, we will not define the manufacturing details of individual components on the assembly drawing, but all the relevant relationships between the individual components and how they should be assembled. Learning to create drawings in CAD software is quite easy. If you are persistent enough, you will learn the commands and easily create CAD drawings. 
the hard part is to learn all the rules that need to be applied to the drawing and when to apply them. To become a good mechanical design engineer, it is necessary to have knowledge of both. Implementing the CAD software in the day-to-day -day practice in an efficient and time-saving manner, with high-quality drawings incorporated with the best engineering practices and internal company processes, may be a challenge. Creating robust CAD drawing templates linked with the part and assembly attributes is the first step in achieving quality internal processes. Furthermore, as always, I would suggest you spend additional time learning your CAD software, if you have not already done so, and polishing your knowledge of creating engineering drawings. In this video, we covered the creation of drawings in CAD software, and now, finally, all the videos are coming together. There are still a few videos that we need to cover to finish with the CAD fundamentals, and then we are jumping into connecting these topics into one, as we will connect theory with the praxis. Did you learn anything new in this video? Let us know in the comments below. Do you like our videos? Then, give us a thumb up, comment, and share it with your friends, colleagues, and on your social media channels. And if you want to become a part of the Newtonians, make sure to subscribe to our channel.